Hey everybody. All right. Hopefully, uh, while the kids are eating, I can get this uh, get this video in. Um, what I got going on here is uh, a while back. Uh, I don't know, probably a month and a half, a month and a half ago, maybe two months. I was doing these uh, back EMF experiments, and I came up with this circuit um, with a voltage doubler that was sustaining light for a long time. But actually, what I really, my true intention is, I, I didn't care about the sustainment of the light so much. Yeah, I was trying to do this cap dump that uh, Jeremy suggested to me uh, that uh, that uh, Cool Jewel does or, or Patrick does, and uh, but I didn't have I had a really terrible um, relay at the time, and then I got this relay, and this relay also is not really what I'm looking for. Actually, I, I need a 12 volt cap with a high capacitor value to do that, and it'll probably ch take a little while to charge up, but. Uh, but I did get a sustained light for a long time, and I, and I, <laughs> I kind of neglected to tell anybody or do anything about it. Um, so this is this is kind of what I came up with. It's kind of an asymmetrical type of setup. Um, I think I, I believe I showed one friend of mine um, at Mitco, but uh, that's I, that's really all it came to it. And then I kind of I've been busy doing all this stuff, so I decided to go back to it today and throw that circuit back together real quick. Um, and off of the the back EMF here, and I just like to show it. And uh, I actually drew the schematic out for once. I usually don't do that, but this uh, schematic is is pretty impressive from uh, from all my experiments from it. But so I hook it up, and uh, the lights light up nice and bright. And uh, so the, the, uh, the I can't turn the pot up because it will blow the LEDs. I actually blew one LED because the pot was all, all the way up and I let it go too bright. Um, but uh, basically um, it has a like a looping feedback with a resonant transformer and uh, that's pretty much the easy way to explain it. Uh, I'll show the schematic. This this isn't in the schematic right here. This is just on the, uh, the uh, power in just to regulate over voltages it's just a hundred volt uh, um, one nanofarad cap and uh, a little neon bulb and uh, this is no smoke and mirrors guys this is uh, this is kind of the real deal so um, I'm gonna unhook it and uh, get in there see it see if we can get a shot of the actual 50 volts at 70, 470 microfarad. So, um, uh, I'll show the schematic and get the pen off. Because I didn't make the ground right there. <sighs> okay. So, here's the schematic of it. And the terrible lighting. Um,. And I, I apologize for the terrible schematic. <laughs> I should have used the pencil, but I didn't. And this is ground. This is obviously not uh, not mains power. But uh, if you go back in some of my old videos, you can see some of the the measurements. It's a it's a. Let me see if I can get a better shot of that too. It's pretty ugly. But if you go back in my older video, you can see some measurements. I was it was eight uh, microamps at uh, about 50 volts is what I was getting off of this. This. Um, back EMF off of that outlet that's improperly grounded. The electrician in my garage didn't do a very good job in my garage or my entire house for that matter. But um, I fixed most of my house outlets. It's just out here. I kind of left because I, I actually wanted to play with it. So it's dimming a little bit. So why don't we just turn up the, pot the potentiometer a bit? I don't want to turn it up too high because I don't want to blow my LEDs. But I do want to get the runtime to go a little faster. So, pretty bright, you can see. Um, essentially what this is, is a, a self-oscillating circuit, obviously. It's a, jewel, it's a jewel thief circuit up front. 40 turns of a 24 gauge and 90 turns of 28 gauge with um, 330, 330 roughly turns. I just put 333 because it was a, it's a purdy number, but... Uh, of 30 gauge wire running through the middle and it, so it's a toroid with a nylon um, sewing needle um, 
Obviously, it's rectified in. Um, all the diodes are germanium except for the LEDs. And, uh, and basically, I have it running through a 2N22222 or an NTE123, a 123AP. Um, the classic Jewel Thief circuit, but then it gets strange here in the sense that it runs into, not on the collector, into the base, it runs into a 2P22222, which is NTE109. Is that 109? 159. God, my handwriting is so little, I can't even read it. I have to draw the schematic better. Um, and then uh, it's actually the emitter side is actually coming from what would basically be uh, uh, the top load of the resonant transformer in the sense. And then it's kind of like a Slayer Exciter in, in a way too, I, I, I think, if I re recall the Slayer Exciter circuit. I've never actually built one of those, but I would like to in the future. But uh, then it runs, um, uh, the bottom half runs back to the negative rail, but it's on, but it's uh, after the germanium, so it doesn't backfeed. Um, and the uh, and then it goes into a voltage doubler. Yeah, give me one second, buddy. Let me just do this video. And then um, and it's just a standard voltage doubler circuit, uh, but it also is acts as a voltage regulator cir regulator circuit, which is uh, kind of what I was aiming for. Um, but I couldn't use a DC to DC uh, uh, DC to DC voltage regulator because uh, two reasons: one is their inefficiency, and two, uh, the really nice ones that are kind of set up like a voltage regulator setup, uh, they usually run at a minimum of one amp. I couldn't find anything lower than that, and I'm dealing with very low current. I'm just it's all voltage, so um, so that's pretty much the circuit right there. And as you can see, the light's still going. Uh, I can turn it up more, and I can it can, it'll run for quite a while. But if I, you know, obviously I, if I turn the potent the pot up, you know, it's gonna run a lot longer. And uh, there's the little uh, transformer, the resonant transformer. And uh, yeah, we could sit here for a little while. It's <laughs> it'll, it'll go for a while. Um, I'll just show the schematic one more time. Now, I don't really post anything on the energetic forum uh, or anything like that. So if anybody's interested in the schematic, they can pass it along. Uh, maybe draw it up a little cleaner than this. <laughs> but uh, uh, I I might I might draw it up cleaner. Uh, but uh, you know I don't really post anything in that because I'm not sa incredibly savvy with uh, circuits and stuff. I just kind of tinker every once in a while. Um, and I've only been doing circuits for like two years. I, I guess you could say I learned most of my circuits from Minecraft, <laughs> which is pretty sad from a mod in Minecraft. But uh, hey, it got it got me here. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I uh, figured I'd share that. I, I, I kind of this is this circuit's kind of a uh, um, something I played with a while ago, like I said. But uh, the, definitely the people who who are uh, playing around with a Kula circuit, like a Tinsel Koala and, and a Laser Saber, made me remember this circuit, and I'm like, oh, I gotta throw that back up so so I can have it uh, picked apart, <laughs> and, and uh, people can tell me what's going on, so uh, hopefully this is, uh, this is interesting to somebody out there, um, and um, again, it's, uh, it's a pretty simple little transformer um, and it's I guess it would be considered a three-phase transformer um, and uh, pretty efficient little guy um, I'll do the math on it to really get a good value of it uh, I definitely am not saying this is over unity or anything like that it's just an incredibly f efficient setup there we go now the LEDs are finally starting to burn out um, hopefully not burn out but yep so they're finally starting to fade away but uh, I will experiment with uh, different capacitive values um, and, uh, and uh, hopefully the overall goal of this was to actually uh, cap dump this into larger capacitors and then cap, uh, have a cascade and then cap it or, and then dump it into a battery bank so I could collect all the uh, what would be waste energy from all my electronics or back EMF from all my electronics and actually use it to charge something. Um, I'll probably have to come up with a much better transformer for that, but, uh, 
but this is kind of what was one of my test transformers. So, with that being said, I'll show the schematic one more time, and I'll just put the ground back onto it and light her back up just for the fun's sake. Oh, turn it down quick! Yikes! <laughs> almost, blew, almost blew those LEDs again. Um, it gets super bright, and I need to uh, get. Pro this is 500k pots not doing it. I'm gonna have to put some more resistors in line because it's just it's too bright. So um, when it builds up charge, you know, at 50 volts, builds a 50 volt charge. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching.